Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. A man who spears himself with his own spear should not be mourned. William Ruto had an opportunity of picking Kithuri Kindiki as his running mate, but he instead went for Rigadi Gashagwa. So we should not sympathize with the Ruto that Rigadi has now rebelled against him. Ruto speared himself with his own spear. And we should also not sympathize with Rigadi Gashagwa that Ruto is now persecuting him. The same Ruto used Rigadi Gashagwa to undermine Uhuru Kenyatta. Ruto is now using some leaders from the mountain to undermine the same same Rigadi Gashagwa. So Rigadi is being served from the same dish he did serve Uhuru Kenyatta. Ruto and Rigadi Gashagwa should not be sympathized with. In fact, Kenyans should be celebrating and cheering as these two leaders fight. Oscar Sudi a few hours ago dropped a bombshell. Sudi is now saying maximum two weeks. Let's have a look at what Sudi has posted about two hours as I speak. Oscar Kiptumba Sudi maximum two weeks. Maximum two weeks. That post by Oscar Sudi has angered Rigadi Gashagwa's team. Gunjiri Wambugu responded to that. Gunjiri Wambugu, this is a staunch Rigadi ally. May God continue to protect our deputy president. There's only one thing that can be done by an enemy to a man of the status of the deputy president in two weeks. And it is not the impeachment you keep threatening because it cannot be implemented in two weeks. I genuinely pray that this is not what you want to do. And then we are seeing Gujiru Wambugu has attached that post by Oscar Sudi, maximum two weeks. According to Ngunjiri Wambugu, he thinks this is not an impeachment, but maybe a threat on Rigadi Gashagwa's life. If you look at the comments, Rigadi Gashagwa supporters and William Ruto supporters are going for one another. And it's taking a tribal angle. Uh, people just two years ago were together. They are now going for one another. We want these people. And this is why today I'm a very happy man. I can't sympathize with Ruto. I can't sympathize with Rigadi. Let Rigadi be impeached as early as possible. Let's have a look on how Kenyans have reacted upon Gunji Wambugu sharing that post by Oscar Sudin. Maroti Samuel, remember Rigiji abused our former president, UK. He wasn't even remorseful on his actions. It is tit for tat. Washir and Jima, whatever needs to be done, let it be done. We must bring sanity in the country. A married deputy president can only be termed by an impeachment. Langat Duncan, the sponsor of the attempted civilian coup, must pay the price. Thomas Ondukon, just like you misled Uhuru into losing, you are leading Gashagwa to self-destruction. Did Sudi refer to Gashagwa? It's now clear that what Gashagwa is feeding the public is not the real issue. Something lethal that we will get to know along the way. 
munue wa kibui kibunja the biggest mistake RG made was to have you in his team that's when he sent a message that he was ready for war and forgot that the man he was preparing to fight is a battle hardened warrior so spit amwangi he should be sent home like yesterday he was chosen the deputy president of Kenya but reduced himself for deputy president of Mlima Kenya whatever that means Robert Muriki I knew Gashaga was about to make huge political mistakes when he enrolled you as his senior political advisor Peter Lin KE impeach the tribal lord keep protect Kevin crying babies Gashago must be impeached in two weeks. Philip Ouma, Gunjiri, you are the source of all problems in Kenya. If you go through the comments upon Gunjiri Wambugu posting that, most comments are against him and against Rigathi Gashago. Some are accusing him that he did mislead Uhuru Kenyatta and is now misleading Rigathi Gashago. Hmm. It's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, Before we put all this into perspective, let's hear what regard this now saying he was at a chat function today and he made some interesting remarks. Listen to Rigadi before we continue. I want to ask my brother, my boss president William Ruto to be cautious and do the right thing. Let's keep our house together. Let us not be destructive. and let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal president william ruto is the greatest beneficiary of the peoples of mount kenya distant for betrayal our people hate betrayal and they are very unforgiving if you betray them i ask my brother president william ruto not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving when there was an attempt to betray him the people of this region said no we don't like betrayal we don't entertain betrayal and for that reason the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal if the people of this region feel betrayed as they will if we go into that direction these people will be very unforgiving that's just my advice it doesn't have to be taken i've been around for a long time mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya moi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya kebake nimekuwa hapo wakati ya uhuru sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu hii watu ya mlima Kenya mimi nawaelewa sana kisaliti watu usiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho and it cannot be salvaged i still think there is room for the president to put his house in order talk to everybody and let us get back to work and serve the people of kenya execute the mandate that they gave us we give very many promises we need to keep those promises and it's important that we keep those promises the other day i asked the president to keep one promise to the people of kenya that yes that's rigadi gashagwa speaking today and listening to rigadi gashagwa i'm seeing rigadi gashagwa saying that if ruto embraces him he will work with him so rigadi is rebelling against ruto not that ruto is not delivering but because ruto is dumping him if ruto embraces him then ruto will miraculously start delivering in the last two years ruto and bigadi were together we saw how they mismanaged our economy and i've always maintained here that a split kenya kwanza is good for the country and a split between ruto and bigadi gashagwa We have now started seeing at least the face of Kenya in Ruto's government. If there could have not been that split, 
we could still be having a two tribe affair in Kenya Kwanza government. So the split is good. Kenyans must also know Rigadi is very disparate, praying each day for God to intervene for Ruto to embrace him. If Ruto embraces him, he will support this government now and come 2027. So Kenyans will still be crying as Ruto and Rigadi eats. I'm also seeing a Rigadi Gashagwa who is just trying to expose this self entitlement by people from the mountain. Everything should be about him. It's high time Rigadi should change his narrative. It should not be about the mountain every now and then. That office of a deputy president, that office should be a symbol of national unity. But Rigadi is just advancing the interest of the mountain. Another confirmation that Rigadi is actually betraying the office he holds. He should be a symbol of national unity. I'm also seeing Arigadi saying that the mountain is very unforgiving. Is it trying to take us back to 2007? And will the mountain allow this leader to isolate them from other leaders? This is why I strongly believe if Rigadi is impeached, he will die politically. A good number of Mount Kenya residents, they will reach a point, they will see Rigadi is trying to isolate them from other Kenyans, and they'll start dumping Rigadi Gashagwa. So at the end of the day, instead of Rigadi being strong politically, even on that mountain, he might even become unpopular on that mountain. That's what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. So things are boiling up nicely, just as the doctor ordered, as Gabriel Oguda always saying, what goes around comes around. Nobody should sympathize with Ruto or with Rigadi Gashagwa. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you. God bless you. God bless Ken.